Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Coders Arcade. In today's video, we will be talking about the while loop in Python. So what is the while loop? A while loop statement in Python programming language repeatedly executes a target statement as long as a given condition is true. So it means that as long as a certain condition is true, the while loop will execute that statement and as soon as it becomes false, it will go out of the control of the while loop and it will terminate the program. So let us see a flow chart so that you can get a better idea about the flow of the while loop. You can see here is the flow chart and here you will write the while keyword, then you will use the expression then you will write certain statements and in this flowchart you can see that if the condition is true then it will execute the conditional code repeatedly as long as the condition is true and then after that it will terminate the program but if the condition is false it will go out of the control of the while loop and it will immediately terminate the program so this is a basic flowchart about the working of the while loop Let's move on to PyCharm so that I can show you certain examples to give you a better idea. So let us start with the program in while loop. I will take a variable count is equal to zero. Then I will use the while loop and I will write while count less than 10. I will use the print statement and I will print the count is comma then I will call my count variable so that till the value of count is less than 10 it will print the count number and after it is not satisfying the condition it will go out of the control of the while loop so now I will press enter and I have to increment the value of count otherwise it will not do it will only print once or it will actually be going into an infinite loop so I have to increment the value of count here. I will say count is equal to count plus one. And you can also write this in this fashion. I will show you with the help of a comment. You can write count plus is equal to one. It will also produce the same result. So after that, I will go out of the while loop. Then I will print done. So when we run this program, we should find that from 0 till 9, we should get the count output. And as soon as the value of count becomes 10, it should go out of the loop. So let's run it. I'm running it for you. Here, you can see that the count is 0, the count is 1. It continues till the value of count is 9. And then finally, after this step, when the value of count becomes 10, then it will go out of the control of the while loop and finally it will print done. So here finally we are getting this done. So I will show you the same thing with the help of debugging so that you get a better idea. Now I will go to the console and here you can see during the first iteration, the value of count is zero. So here you can see the count is zero it's getting printed. After that, second iteration count is 1, it will print count is 1. Similarly, it will go on till the value of count is 9. You can see it's going continuing till the value of count is 9. And finally, after this, the count value becomes 10. And so it does not satisfy the condition and it will go out of the loop and it will print done and it terminates the program. So here you get an idea about the while loop and the definition. As I say, as long as a target statement and the given condition is true, it will print the target statement. You can see here, just because the target was satisfying, it was printing till count is nine. And when count becomes equal to 10, it goes out of the control of the while loop and it prints done. So this is a basic example where you can use the while loop. 
Now I will show you another example so that you can understand better. Let's delete it. And here I will show you one example where I will go inside an infinite loop. So here I will write a comment so that you can understand better. Infinite loop. So here I will use a variable say named var var and take the value 1. And now I will use the while loop. While var equal equal 1. Now this while loop will go into an infinite loop because the value of variable is always 1 because I have assigned the value 1. So here the while loop here will be an infinite loop. Now if I press enter and now if I take a variable num is equal to int and if I take an input from the user say enter a number then if I print you enter comma and I have to use the num. Finally, I will go out of the control of the while loop and here I will print thank you and finish with the exclamation mark. Now, if I run this program, what should happen is here the value of the variable is one and it goes into the infinite loop because it will never change the value of the variable has been assigned one. So, as long as we are providing a number, it will take the number and print the number. Let me run it for you so that you can understand. I'm running it. You can see it's asking me for a number. I give one, then press enter. Then it says you entered the number. That is I entered one. Again, it is asking me for another number. This time I give two and press enter. Then you can see you entered two. If I give 3, it will again say you enter 3. Now, if I enter some text, say text and press enter, it says value error because here I have not provided a integer number which can be converted to an int because by default, whatever the input function takes from the user, it converts it into a string variable. Now, this text whatever I gave as an input cannot be converted into a integer value. So it is giving us a value error. Now let me sort it out for you. I will again run this program. And here I give one and press enter. It says you entered one. Now you can see to terminate the while loop, normally you can use control plus C, but in certain cases control plus C may not work. So in case of PyCharm, there is another shortcut which is Ctrl plus F2. Now if I press Ctrl plus C, you can see it's actually copying this text. So here, when I use Ctrl and F2, it terminates from the while loop. So this is a way of terminating from an infinite while loop. So this is all about this video guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you like the video. And if you like it, then tell us in the comment section below. If you have any doubts, then post them in the comment section. I will definitely try to clear those doubts. Also, like, share and subscribe to our channel Codus Arcade and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification when we post a new video. Thank you. Happy learning.